Hello everyone, I have a little layout for you today that kind of took a turn. So I started with this cut file and then um, I thought I would watercolor a background for the cut file and I was having a lot of trouble doing that because of the colors in this photo. It's a warmer photo and the colors of the paper are cooler colors. So um, it was hard to decide what kind of watercolors I was going to use, but um, I, I traced around the cut file with this uh, watercolor uh, pencil and I'm just going to go for it and pick a color that I like. So I got this periwinkle blue and I'm just going to smoosh it around. And I seem to use this color a lot and also that um, that little kind of minty green. And I was trying really hard to use something different this time, but it didn't work. I'm just going to go ahead and use that because I thought it would look good. And um, it, I mean, I wasn't wrong. It looks okay. But uh, here, I'll let you see how it turns out. I really, really like these colors. They're um, very opaque uh, compared to other watercolors. They're the Gansai Tambi watercolors. I got them on Amazon. There was a deal for, it was like $28 for this set and it has like 30 colors. So I thought it was pretty good. Um, it has, also has gold. So here I'm splattering some gold and then I'm gonna, I think it looks kind of dark. So I'm gonna dilute it a little bit more and smoosh it around. And this looks um, really, really nice when it's dry. It looks a little opaque right now that it's wet, but the gold uh, becomes a lot softer once it's dry. So now I'm gonna try and, and see how that looks with my photo and see if I like it. I'm just blotting away some of the, some of the water here so I can so I can lay down my cut file and my photo and kind of see what happens. And let me just tell you, I end up not keeping it. Um, I like the look of it. It just doesn't, it's just not right with this photo. So I have another idea. I had done, I had made this other cut file and put it together with these pictures. And because of the background and the colors of the clothes in these photos, that works a lot better. So I went and dug around my pattern papers and found this little, it's a glitter polka dot. It's a tiny, tiny polka dot and um, it's a lot warmer so it looks, it looks better with this photo. So I cut the photo down to 4x4 four four to kind of focus more on, on us instead of the background there. So this is my favorite thing to do right now. I'm backing up my uh, photos with layers of tissue paper. Um, after my daughter's birthday, I got all kinds of cute tissue paper. So I kept a bunch of it. And um, I'm using this glittery, well, I don't know what color it is, like fuchsia maybe. And I'm just going to have a tiny outline of it. It's the same color as those little dots in my background paper. And this is from the Floral Brilliant Stack by DCWB. So I've also, that, that this piece that I'm using for the photo, I've cut it, um, I've got it that, that glittery paper. So um, I, I don't show this part of it, but I trim around my layout and then I add it on top of that that glitter fuchsia paper so that it has a little bit of um, a little bit of an outline um, kind of more defined edges and it's that that glittery fuchsia that matches so it looks it looks really nice stay tuned at the end so that you can see how it ends up looking okay so these puffy words I got them in the um, Pink Fresh Studio Warehouse box. And I thought it was perfect. This one that says you lift my heart up because there's no journaling for this photo. It's just a photo my daughter and I took during um, 
our formal night in the cruise. And uh, I, there, there's not really much to say, so I wanted the title and the embellishments to say everything, right? So, um, because it was the same pink as the background hearts, I decided to put it on this little heart doily, and that one is from Crepe Paper Love Notes. I think it's called. It's a really, really old Valentine's Day collection. And this square doily is from Freckled Fawn. I thought it would be nice to kind of separate the, the background a little bit more and have something in between the heart doily and the picture. Um, I also got that um, playing card that has a two on it because my daughter was two years old at this point. So I'm going to try to put that in there. And that's also from Crate Paper Love Notes, I believe. Let me see. Oh, Kiss Kiss. That's what that's called. It's Kiss Kiss. And uh, I still have a bunch of the ephemera left. There was so much ephemera in that collection. And I've used, um, I've used quite a few pieces, but I still have a lot left. So I'm happy using it up. I just want that card to be a little bit um, tilted there. And this one is from the Cray Paper Heart Day stickers. It's just like a little tassel banner, I guess. I'm just going to put it up there. Once I started getting um, all these little things in place, I think the layout really came together faster than I thought. So at this point I haven't I haven't glued down my cut file to my background. So I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to apply this uh, Tombow multi adhesive. And you can see already how fine it applies. Oh, it's just with that regular tip that the bottle comes with. And it's pretty repositionable for the first 30 seconds or so. And so I did I did half the cut file and then uh, that way I could uh, it would be easier for me to position it and then uh, I'm going to do the rest of the cut file this way now that I know where I want it. Um, so here goes my photo and now I'm just going to have to find little bits and pieces to tuck in to make it a little more interesting and I still want a little tab to add my journaling and uh, so this little ticket stub I was trying to figure out where to put it and in the middle it's uh it says um, something forever so I just left that forever part peeking out I thought that was appropriate <laughs> and uh, I'm just looking for what else I can use here to tuck in. And I find um, these little postage stamps kind of, they look like postage stamps and I've been wanting to use them forever. Um, I tried them out on different layouts and it's just never worked but it went perfectly here. So I finally got to use them. Do you have something like that? Do you have a piece of um, ephemera or a certain supply that you have just wanted to use all the time but it just never works out? This is mine. This one right here. It's uh, been tried on on lots of layouts and never made the cut. But it finally made it on a page today. And I'm really happy about that. Now I'm going to try this acetate arrow um, just to have something that directs your eye right away to the title and then the photo. And honestly, I'm just trying to use some more of my ephemera there, but it's not going to work out. There's a cute little rose in the Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams collection in the ephemera pack that I'm going to tuck in back there. I think that looks cute. 
and the pink is a little bit different so it's a uh, it's a nice it's a nice break there and it also brings in some of this kind of minty green so I'm adding those leaves and now I'm gonna look for um, something else to bring more of that little minty green to the layout and I found this little bow and now I have to find a, a place to do my my little journaling is just going to say um, formal night and have the date on there so oh I found another another sticker with leaves on it the same from the same Maggie Holmes collection I'm just adding that back there to bring in so now I have a little triangle of green and I have my label down there and this little heart that says love you that heart is also another one of those supplies that has been tried out on a lot of layouts and just never made it but I finally made it today, so um, I think that label is is plenty of space. Uh, because it's a shiny label, uh, I'm not gonna stamp on it. I don't have stays on ink, so my ink runs on on shiny things. So I'm just gonna use my slick writer to write the date and that it was formal night, and that's it. And I think the title says it all and my little embellishments say it all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you next week. Bye!